This is Witchbase News for Friday the 24th of May 2019. I'm Commander Burr. In this weeks news, Frontier responds to the recent cheating thunderclap, that Frontier leak seems to have been all but confirmed and planetary circumnavigations come to an end. If you enjoy our content please remember to hit like and subscribe and click the little bell icon to get a notification next time we upload a new video. Remember you can also come and join us on the Burr Pit Discord server and if you want to help support the work of this channel you'll also find us on Patreon. Links to both of those and also where you can find us on all your favourite social media platforms are in the description below. At the start of this week Elite's community manager Will Flanagan responded to the recent cheating scandal thunderclap that we reported on last week. In a post to the official forums that I've linked below Will stated that Frontier takes the issue very seriously and is active in taking action against those who engage in cheating in the game. Losers. He went on to say that they are not willing to share details of the action being taken or the steps that they have in place to tackle the use of the tools that have been highlighted as they essentially don't want to give the cheaters a heads up and allow them to circumvent the controls and procedures. The story was also picked up by PC Gamer who also garnered a similar response when inquiring to Frontier about the issue. I have to say I don't think this will be an end to the story. I'd imagine this is going to come up again in the future in one form or another especially as the game opens up to new and different audiences. More on that in a moment. Personally I would like to see a more definitive and slightly less woolly response from Frontier on the issue. I'm not unsympathetic. I do understand why they responded in the way that they did and by the same token other games have had huge PR wax from reporting that they have banned X number of cheaters in big thunderclap moments. World of Warcraft springs to mind just off the top of my head. And in many regards I think the only thing that will satiate the understandable bloodlust being felt by certain quarters of the community is one such benchmark moment. That said it's my gut feeling that that just isn't who Frontier are so I'm figuring it's unlikely that we'll really ever see that happening. A few weeks back a post appeared on Reddit as well as at least one other place that claimed to have insider knowledge about the titles being developed at Frontier and most notably the much anticipated 2020 update coming to Elite Dangerous. Before I continue I should add that if you're sensitive to potential spoilers about what's coming to Elite you should probably look away now. Still here? As we reported at the time the poster claimed to have inside knowledge of additions being made to existing titles like Planet Coaster as well as at the time unannounced titles along with what the 2020 update will contain. One of the titles that the poster claimed to know about was Planet Zoo. That was announced officially a few weeks later from Frontier. One of the other unannounced projects that they claimed to know about was a Ghostbusters themed expansion for Planet Coaster. That expansion has just been announced by Frontier this week. Whilst not definitive proof of the content of Elite Next it certainly adds a huge thick delicious chocolatey layer of significant authenticity to the post. For my money I'm personally calling the leak confirmed. So in case you missed it what was claimed to be in the 2020 update. It was a brief description but it said Space Legs first person shooter style action against Thargoids that have a real Starship Troopers vibe to them and base building. I have to say and this might be an unpopular opinion that has me really excited. Whilst I'd like planetary atmospheric landings I do think they would be hugely frustrating without being able to get out of my ship in anything except an SRV and personally given the choice I'd vote legs first then atmospherics. I'm also historically a first person shooter player as well as a simulation freak. I really enjoy the more realistic first person shooter titles like SWAT, Armour or something like Rainbow Six. And I'm so up for climbing out of my spaceship and infiltrating a Thargoid hive on foot or ground installation overrun with pirates or exploring the interior of an abandoned megaship to discover what happened to the crew. There's no suggestion that that stuff is coming to the game by the way. But with legs in the mix the door is open. But that's just me and I appreciate that that isn't for everyone. What would be your preference? Are you happy to drive around on a planet and leave the legs till later? Sound off in the comments. 
And finally, a couple of significant planetary circumnavigations came to an end this week with the end of the distant Cake expedition at Semitus Beacon and Alec Turner reaching the end of the first great planetary expedition which featured the circumnavigation of some of the stunning vistas on the moon of Kume in Chi Hercules. To catch up on the end of the distant cake expedition then go check out Primetime Casuals video log of the event which I've linked below. Huge congratulations must go to Commander Sabic who was the first commander to finish distant cake and is therefore the first commander to circumnavigate the furthest reachable landable body from Sol. Likewise congratulations to Commander Alec Turner on his organisation of the first great planetary expedition We'll have some video of the end of the expedition coming up on the channel later today. I couldn't and would never undertake something like this myself. I love it that the game lets you do it however and that other people take such joy in it. What a game Elite is. That's it for now. Thank you so much for making it this far. We'll be back later this week with more videos. Until then 07 CMDRs follow the greens on the way out and do keep clear of the toast rack. We very much look forward to seeing you next time.